here's the analysis. There are three things I want us to pay attention to from Loma's jump rope style. The first thing is lightness and bounciness on the feet. It's almost as though he's not even jumping. And he is known to have arguably the best footwork in all of boxing, with him often bamboozling opponents, sometimes even appearing, literally appearing in front of them one second and behind them the next second, like Dal Sim from Street Fighter 2. <laughs> I was born in the early 90s, so I am getting on a bit. I'll forgive you if you don't understand that reference. But it is awesome to see how he clearly applies that lightness on the feet to his training here and uses it to great effect in the boxing ring too. The second thing we want to look at is his ambidexterity. This is something I've been harping on about for the longest. If you've been following this channel for a while, you're probably sick and tired of me talking about doing one thing on your right hand you better learn how to do it with your left hand too. We see this with Loma. He's banging his crossovers, right hand over, left hand over. Now, my theory is that a lot of boxers don't explore this because, you know, if you get the crossover, you're comfortable with it with the right hand over the top. You know, there's no real reason to learn how to do it with the left hand over the top, really. In my humble opinion, if you can't do a crossover with the right hand on top and the left hand on top, it means you haven't really got a full understanding of how to do the crossover and integrated it into your movement, building that coordination. I mean, we'd probably say it's weird if someone could jump hopping on only their right foot and not their left foot. So the same logic applies there. And Loma is known for his unique training methods, really taking his work on his mind muscle coordination to a completely new level. The number three, Last but not least, rhythm. I noticed that with Loma, he tends to settle into a rhythm before moving into a more advanced technique. So in this clip here, for example, you see he bangs a crossover and then it's one, two, three single unders, crossover, one, two, three single unders, crossover. And he doesn't do this just once. He does it again later in the video. And so what this tells me is Loma likes to settle into a fundamental rhythm before going for something that is a bit more advanced or a bit more complex, meaning that he likes to establish his balance first. Definitely a good thing if you want to progress with your training long term and master the jump rope fully. So there it is, that is the quick rope rage analysis of Vasily Nomachenko's jump rope technique. This was actually a bit tougher than the Devin Haney one, trying to emulate the ambidexterity as well as the 17 double unders back to back, yet I had to count every single one. Uh, it was a little bit tougher, but I hope you can appreciate the attempt here. As I've said before, trying to adjust your rhythm to someone else's rhythm after years of repetition is not an easy task. It's actually a pretty cool learning process for myself as well. And that's what I love about jump rope training is that the learning process never stops. And so whether you are starting your journey or you're well on your journey or wherever you are, I'd highly encourage you to get our new explosive rage rope, one of a kind in smoothness, one of a kind in speed. It's a rope I use for my training. If you're tired of your old rope or want to try something new, I promise you, you have not experienced a rope like this. Say hello to my little friend. Q the Scarface Photoshop. Oh, <laughs>